Hello friends, it's time for the start of the end of year videos! <laughs> this is probably my favourite time of year to make content. I also like the start of the year. I do like the start of year videos. I love end of year videos so much. It just like satisfies something in my soul, <laughs> like deep down. It makes me so happy doing end of year videos. So I was thinking, what is, I mean obviously it's, it's the start of December, I'm still gonna be doing some reading. So I don't wanna do like my best books, worst books yet. So I was thinking, what's something we can like do at the start of the month that's still an end of year video and it's time to... <laughs> I don't really want to do this but it's time to talk about my series reading in 2023 my series progress how many series I finished how many I started and I reached my series goal spoiler alert no <laughs> I lost all hope today I'm in I'm probably not gonna be starting any more series now the rest of the year I know I'm gonna be reading one more that's part of a series and I've marked that on the spreadsheet just because I will have finished that by the end of the year I will have read that book I want to finish the series but unless I unwrap a start of a series in uh, wrapped up which there are a few of them there's actually not that many I'm like the it, it's instilling a lot of fear in me but there's probably only like five or six and I'm just gonna like psychically avoid them <laughs> Bat them off, you know. I won't let the psychic. Uh, next year, it's fine. I'm fine starting the next year, but just not in December. That's so cruel. So I don't think I'm going to be starting any more series. So I think we're safe to see my series progress. So we're going to look at my series spreadsheet. I've got some stats to talk through with you guys. And then last year, I asked over on Instagram some things you wanted to know in this video as well. And I'm going to answer the same questions like, best series I finished, series I'm glad I finished, series I want to finish, series I want to start, etc, etc, etc. So shall we just get into it? I'm very excited. Oh, I love graphs. I love spreadsheets. I'm just excited. Okay, let's chat like, let's, let's, let's settle down for a second, everyone. <laughs> and let's chat basic stats. Okay, what we need to come to terms with is the fact that at the start of this year, I had 34 ongoing series that I was currently reading. Okay, and my goal, which will be the same goal next year, this is this is always my goal now, <laughs> is to have a net negative. So at the end of the year, I wanted to be currently reading at least 33 series, if not less, or at most, I guess, 33 series. So starting on 34, how many series am I currently reading? 39, okay. You have to give yourself permission to fail. That's not terrible, and I want you to sit with that in a moment because we're gonna we're gonna do a bit of a switch up in a moment, and I don't know what the results of that are gonna be. So I just want you to sit with that. I'm currently reading thirty nine, so that's plus five. It's not the worst. It could be it could be much worse. <laughs> we'll get into all my stats, but I feel like my overall impression of my series reading this year is that it's not the best, but it's not the worst, <laughs> and that's not that's not particularly insightful. But I'm okay with how much series progress I made. So I started eleven series in 2023, and I finished eight. So you think that would only be plus three, but a couple of ones that I I think two of the ones that I finished were ones I'd started this year. So um, it didn't make a it didn't affect the currently the, the total but something I am pretty proud of that I did want to tell you guys and we'll have a little look at this when we go through the spreadsheet in a second but how many series I'm still at the same place as I was at the start of the year is 20 out of the 30 that I could be so I've made progress in 10 more series this year which last year I only made progress in six series last year I made a big focus on finishing series I read a lot of series where I only had one book left to finish the series but I didn't make a lot of progress in any of my other series whereas this year I did make a bit of effort and some of those series I read like three books in the series this year so I feel like that is you know is a positive in my view also I just want to say in these stats in all of these stats that we're going to go through I only include series that I am currently reading or I finished I don't include series that I've DNF because that would skew the results somewhat so let's have a little look at the spreadsheet and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do <laughs> so this is my reading spreadsheet some of you have seen it before basically it's very simple it is color coded for the year that I read the books this is 2019 this is 2020 that's 2021 if a book is in bold that means that I only have one book left to finish the series escaping from Houdini is the book I haven't read this year yet but I'm going to read before the end of the year so that's it's marked as that. Um, something that's underlined means I own it and something that's in italics is something that hasn't come out yet is basically all that means. So this is my 
currently reading series. As you can see there, we've got, a, like even there, we've got four series up there that I've made progress in this year that I haven't finished, but I'm glad that I've made progress. This is a little bit of like a no man's land. These other books that I started in 2019, I need to make some progress in some of these this year or DNF. I can't believe I haven't made progress for a while in the Singing Hill cycle. <gasps> That's not good. What are you feeling right now? Embarrassed. These three middle grade series, I would really like to make some progress in these, if not finish some of them. The, I know that all the Sinclair's mysteries are on script. I think maybe in a pinch of magic. And these two, Tilly and Lost Fairy Tales and Mr. Jordan Moth, are wrapped up. So I could make progress if I unwrap those at some point. But yeah, these are probably mm, priorities for me. I would like to <laughs> make some progress in those, those middle grade series or DNF them. There we go. Like I said, I read three books this year in the Lady Hardcastle mystery series. I read two from the Before the Coffee Gets Gold series. And I am gonna, I think there's gonna be like loads of books in the series but I personally am gonna finish before we say goodbye I'm not gonna continue with the series after that I've decided but yeah here's here's the series look at her isn't she so cute don't talk about saga oh my god <laughs> Um, a few more that I've made progress in though this year. So I'm happy. And then these are the ones I've started this year that I have not finished. And all of them, I've only read the first one, which is pretty bad. I mean, Bookshops and Bone Dust I'll read soon. I would like to finish off these too soon. And I own, do I own, I don't own a Fire Endless. Why did I think I did? Oh, because I have the audiobook. <laughs> But yeah, I would like to make some progress in these. And then we've got a completed series. Look at all of these. Wow, look at all of these. And these are the series I finished this year. I'm not going to do reviews for these in this video because I feel like I'll talk about three of them. So I'll talk about my favorite ones that I finished, but kind of my attitude towards a lot of these is like, they were okay. I didn't love, we'll talk about the three that I am glad that I finished and most enjoyed, but I didn't love a lot of the series I finished this year. And then we have DNF series. So any series that I only read the first book for, there's quite a few this year, as you can see, that I only read the first book for and then decided to DNF. Or I DNF'd Along the Salt YC this year after reading the second one. So yeah, now what I need to talk about that we're gonna do. <laughs> Get ready, everyone. I'm ready to cause absolute havoc. A lot of you always tell me to not count the series that I am up to date with, but have not finished because I can't finish them because the series themselves are not finished, to not count them in my ongoing series. And I always hesitate to never do that because whether I do it at the start of the year, the end of the year, mid year, it's gonna screw with the stats, right? So I've always had off on doing it, right? Because I will, my, my currently reading, my ongoing series will deflate, but like not organically, but I've decided to just do it. <laughs> So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna make a new section on the spreadsheet for series I'm completely up to date with. Now, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how many that will be, but we are gonna count however many series I am ongoing as my end of year total at the end of this. Does that make sense? So my end of year total is not 39, we're reducing it. The rules don't apply. I don't know if we're gonna get close to, th to 34 or 33, I guess is the goal. But let's see, shall we? Okay, let's see what ones we've got. I am up to date in the Wayward Children series. That is one. I mean, I won't be up to date for that for long because the new one comes out in January, but for now, <laughs> I am up to date in Hellbent. I'm up to date in Last Devil to Die. Ooh. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any more. <laughs> oh, I'm up to date in Dahlia Lively. Um, anything else that I'm up to date with? Okay, that is it. So we took four away. So that means I am currently reading 35 series. Yes? Actually, I missed out that I am up to date in the Sworn Soldier series by T. Kingfisher. So I am only currently reading 34 series. Wowie, I am amazing. Okay, that is our new total. I am currently reading 35, which means I've only plus one series this year because all of these ones, yeah, are ones that I got up to date with this year. So I feel like that's fair. Okay, are we all happy with that? <laughs> I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. So yeah, when I get up to date with a series, I'm gonna move them down here instead. So that is, we've made the change now. So now going on, when I set that goal, when I set my, how many series I wanna be currently reading, it's going to take that into account. Does that make sense? Oh, I always get so many comments about this <laughs> when I do a series video. So I think you guys are gonna be glad. I think you're gonna be glad about that. 
Okay, let's go into a few more stats that I've got. So on this bar chart, this is how many series I've started this year. So in 2019, I started 11. In 2020, I started 19. In 2021, I started 20. In 2022, I started 10. And in 2023, I started 11. So I only started one more series than I did last year. Listen, <laughs> 2020 and 2021, your girl was out of control. <laughs> Someone needed to stop me. Someone needed to sit me down and have an intervention with me because why was I doing all of that? <laughs> anyway, so I'm in control, but I'm out of control and I'm also um, controlled. So in a way I'm everything. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I didn't start too many series this year. I kept it pretty under control. That's, a, that's the kind of number I'm happy with, that's at the kind of rate that I'm finishing them. In terms of how many series I finished each year, in 2019 I finished three, in 2020 I finished four, in 2021 I finished four, in 2022 I finished 15, and in 2023 I finished eight. So not nearly as many as I finished last year, but like I said, last year I pretty much polished off all the series on my DVR that I only had one book to finish in order to finish the series. Whereas this year I read some series that I had a few more books to finish, etc. So it's not bad. I'm finishing double the amount of series that I was in those previous years. So again, I am okay with this. <laughs> I haven't reached the goal, but you know, the whole point, like I always said, the whole point of making this a focus and starting to track this was to just have some level of control. Because if I'd carried on at the rate I was in 2020 and 2021, like starting 19, 20 series and finishing four, that is not sustainable, you know? Whereas I now feel like my series reading is somewhat sustainable, somewhat. <laughs> In terms of the genres of the series I finished, five were fantasy, two were mystery, and one was sci-fi. And then in terms of the series I've got ongoing, two are historical, 14 are fantasy, 11 were mystery, which I feel like is a little bit of an increase. And this ongoing also includes the ones I'm up to date. Uh, one is non-fiction, two are romance, one is magical realism, two are sci-fi, two are horror, and one is contemporary. So I think fantasy, Last year was like 55%, so I've diversified my series reading a little bit. Okay, that's all the stats and a look at the spreadsheet done. Let's go through some of those questions I mentioned earlier. So the first one is the top three series that I finished. And I only really kind of have a top two. A lot of the series I finished were like, okay. My top two are like top, top, top five star favorite series ever. And the first one is the Sheets graphic novel series. The one I read this year to finish it was Lights. I don't think Breath of Thunder has any other graphic novel series and I just want everything. Brenna, <laughs> give me more mix. The first one is the story of Marjorie, whose mother has recently died and she meets this ghost called Wendell. And in this world, all the ghosts are sheets. <laughs> they look like bed sheets. And by the third one, we are really looking into how Wendell died and Wendell's backstory and what happened to Wendell. I love these graphic novel series. I that's real. Even though she's fictional, it's real. And that's important to me. I think their class is middle grade, both this and the other graphic novel series are technically middle grade, but I think anyone and everyone could read them. And I just think there's a lovely, lovely story to these that I am just, oh, I love them. I love the story. I love the message. I love also the illustration style is so pretty. I think the color schemes are great. I cannot wait to read more from Brenna Thumner when she eventually publishes more because I just think it's amazing. The other series will not be a shock to anyone and that is the Tea Dragon series which I finally finished this year. I read both the Tea Dragon Festival and the Tea Dragon Tapestry, both five stars, but I think, um, I don't know which is my favorite in the series. I think I need to do a reread of the whole series back to back before I know which is my favorite in the series. But these are little fantasy graphic novels about these tea dragons that can brew tea, but also it's about the people who live in these communities. Like the tea dragons are quite a small part of it. It's more the communities that, are, that have these customs with the tea dragons. And I just love them. You guys know, I speak about these a lot, but truly, again, the messaging that comes with these books is just, I always say it's, it's the attitude that I wish we all all lived with in the world. I just think it's so beautiful the way that these books view the world and view connection between humans. I just adore it. I love it so much. I cannot recommend this graphic novel series enough. I think it's a gift to the world. So I cannot wait to reread these and reread these and reread these and read them to my kids one day. And I just, I think again, guys, look at how gorgeous. <gasps> Some of these pages, I just, I just can't. I can't, it's so pretty. And then I was thinking of like, what do I want 
to say <laughs> the third one because again a lot of the series I finished were like you know they were fine I were actually I don't know if I mentioned I read the whole of the Mr Mercedes trilogy from Stephen King this year and that was my first time reading Stephen King and I did quite enjoy it I, I was surprised by how much I enjoyed it and I've heard that some of Stephen King's worst so I might like Stephen King who knows I but I don't really view that as like in the, I don't view the ones that I started and finished this year as as much in this category because like they were just a blip you know what I mean whereas some of these series <laughs> have lived with me for a long time with me not finishing them but I wanted to give an honorable mention to the girls of paper and fire series with the girls of fame fury I didn't love this one I think I gave it a 3.5 but this was just a really important series for me I started this series just as I was getting into reading I think this is actually yeah this was the oldest series on my TBR at this point now it's a different one I started this before I had my channel I started this when I was just getting back into reading and it was really I don't know I think it set the tone for a lot of what I like from fantasy it really helped me figure out what books I wanted to read I don't know I just view this as a special series so to be able to finish it finally felt very special I didn't love this as much as like the first one you could probably read as a standalone I don't think the second and third are nearly as good as the first book but it felt like a momentous occasion because I'd been reading it for so long <laughs> to finally finish this series. Then the next question was top three I want to finish next year. Now a series that was on this category last year that I did not finish <laughs> is the Stalking Jack Ripper series. I will, I've only read the first two currently, but like I said, I will be reading Escaping from Houdini before the end of the year. So then I only have one book left to read and I just need to read it because this is now the oldest series on my TBR and I just want to get it done. I don't love these. I feel like both of them are like a 3.5 <laughs> for me, but I do want to finish the series because there's something about them, like the historical setting. They have little like I don't know if you guys have seen before. They have like letters in them or they often have like at the start of chapters pictures of like the setting or things that are happening in the book. So I do want to finish this series off. I'm this deep in. <laughs> just gonna finish it off and read the last one and then I do get a sense of satisfaction of finishing the really old series on my TBR. <laughs> Because after this, the only series I started in 2020 that I won't have finished are the Wayward Children series, which in my eyes should go on forever, <laughs> and Ninth House. Well, I think we're gonna get a third book and then that will be it, but that won't finish. I think it'll take a couple years to get that, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, those won't be finished for a while, whereas I, I, it's in my power to finish these. Then I do want to say the Sinclair's Mysteries as well. I didn't grab that. Whoopsie. I don't know where that is. I couldn't find it somewhere back there. Um, but the second one is wrapped up in Wrapped Up Retro, like I mentioned. And I always talk about those three middle grade series. I started in 2021 and I have not made progress on a single one of them. And so I think the Sinclair's Mysteries is the one I'm feeling most drawn to at the moment. A lot of people said the first one is the least good in the series and the rest are really, really good it's like kind of I think Edwardian Britain so like 1910s I think it's set in and the first one is like a murder mystery at a department store and I just I think it could be like a cozy I last year I I listened to almost all of the um small spaces quartet by Catherine Arden which is a horror middle grade um series as audiobooks and I think it would be nice to prioritize reading some of these middle grade books as audiobooks throughout the year as like palette cleansers so I would like to finish that and then a curveball that I am gonna throw in. I would really like to make progress in the Bear Town series. I don't own <laughs> the second or the third, but I really enjoyed Bear Town. I read this about a year ago and I just feel like if I'm gonna make progress, I need to make progress soon, you know? It's set in this small Swedish town that's very much built around this hockey team and the youth hockey team. And something happens that really divides the town and the town is divided on who they should believe and you know what the truth is I don't know what route the second and third books are going to go down because they kind of feel like standalones but I would I really enjoyed this I really liked Frederick Backman's writing I just thought it was very unique so I would be intrigued to make progress in the series it's a series I think about a lot in terms of making progress in so I it's a curveball because I don't own the second or third books there's many series that I own more books than this <laughs> but I would like to still make progress in it. And then let's talk about the top three series I want to start next year. First one is Murder for Even Song by Reverend Richard Coles. This is a cozy mystery series where there's like a reverend who solves murder mysteries. Look at the dogs. <laughs> I have both the first and second book. So if I'm going to start a series, it makes sense to start this one. I have heard mixed things about this one, but I think it's one of those books you need to go into with the right expectations. I think it is quite lowly rated on Goodreads, but I think it's the kind of book you need to go in not expecting a lot and kind of expecting like 
it to just be cozy and a bit of a fun time. Actually, it was it a like bit that. of a laugh. It's tongue in cheek, Danielle. It's tongue in cheek. It's funny. Do you know what I mean? There's so many books that I feel like are rated low on Goodreads because people didn't go in with the right expectations. But I'm hoping I'll, I will enjoy it. I love anything that's like a good homage to, you know, a classic quaint English town murder mystery. I think one that I did say last year and didn't start this year, but would really like to, I mean, there's still time, it's wrapped up, but I don't want to start any more series, <laughs> is the Veronica Speedwell series with a curious beginning. I, you will tell me how much I'm going to love this. It is now obviously one of the oldest books on my TBR if it's in wrapped up retro, but <sighs> I am just a little bit scared off of it because of how long it is. Like I know I'm not, if I start it, I know I'm not gonna finish it. And that makes me nervous. And so many of you have told me I'm gonna love it. And so many other booktubers who have similar reading taste to have loved it. So I know, I know, I know I need to read it. But the length has always scared me off, but I will start it next year, I promise. <laughs> and then the third series I would really like to start next year is Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambry. I believe this is only a duology. And I followed Lizelle for many years. She's an author tuber. And I followed her for many years. And I remember when this came out, I got this not long after it came out. And she's like published three books since then. <laughs> It's quite embarrassing. So because this is a duology, I feel like it's not particularly a scary series to start because I could feasibly start and finish it next year. But I just am really interested in all of her books, like Delic Delicious Monsters, I think. There was another one. I, all of her books sound really, really good to me. I just feel like I should probably read the one that I own. <laughs> before buying more so I would really really like to start this series this year and I just I've heard also really wonderful things from people who have read it and obviously I, I watched her speak about it so much when watching her video so I'd really like to start this one so that is my series review for 2023 I hope that was interesting somewhat for you guys I love chatting about series and yeah overall I feel like I did okay with my series progress because remember I've only got 35 on the going now <laughs> which is only plus one. So yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with my reading progress, my series progress this year. But let me know, how was your series progress? Do you track your series reading? Do you not track your series reading? What's the sitch? <laughs> let me know down below. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.